Welcome to the Imperial German News Network. I'm Lieutenant Commander Kern on the starship Thor, bringing you the latest news from Earth. We are currently in Sipstream Rive mode, therefore you can see the wormhole outside. We are traveling towards Earth and we'll be there in less than 10 minutes. Now to the overview of today's topics. History. What happened in 1952 in Washington DC in the USA? Was it the Imperial Germans or aliens that besieged the Capitol and the White House from the air? A new Norwegian film called The Rush is making the rounds on Telegram. The film will not be released until November 2021, but parts of it can already be seen on the web. History. How in 1984, a UFO or Imperial German flying disc shot down five mixed fighter planes over Russia. History. We all know that back in 1890, Nikola Tesla built an electric car that was powered by a zero-point generator. However, there are also gasoline engines that use much less gasoline or diesel. There is a video report from Audi in 1989 about an engine that consumed less than 2 liters per 100 kilometers. UFO sighting in Mexico. On September 21st, 2021, this video was taken of UFOs in Mexico. Mexico is a hotbed of conventional UFOs and cylindrical UFOs. In some places, there's as much traffic as in busy airports. Video of a Hanubu overall fleet of the Imperial Germans. Time and place of the recording are unknown. And now to the first topic of today. What really happened in Washington DC in 1952? Nineteen fifty two was one of the biggest years of UFO sightings in US history. The culmination of that year was incredible sightings over the weekend of July nineteenth, twentieth, and twenty sixth, twenty seventh. Washington International was picking up UFO returns. People were reporting sightings of strange lights in the sky. You've got these reports of these objects flying over the nation's capital. A week later, the situation essentially repeats itself. The press, having gone through this thing the week before, were better prepared, and they were down at the Washington International Airport asking what these things were that were being picked up by radar. We were getting the target returns on the ground about 2 or 3 in the morning. We were still getting these returns. Andrews Air Force Base scrambled two F-94 jet interceptors to investigate what was going on. This time, one of the pilots reported that he did see a group of lights and he flew towards them and they appeared to be all around him. Then they moved off according to the ground radar and his reports. Since we know that there's no peace treaty between the Third Reich and the former Allies and the former Soviet Union, so we can assume that it was the Imperial German Hanubu and Royal Fleet that flew over the White House in 1952. The mainstream media claims it was a series of UFO sightings and nothing more. And now for the next topic. In November of 2021, the Norwegian movie Rausch will be released, and part of it can already be seen on Telegram. We will now look at a very interesting part. So if you ask me, I would have also chosen number 3 as well. And now for the next topic. Who or what shot down 5 MiG fighter planes of the Soviets in 1984? Was it the Imperial Germans or aliens? From the German newspaper built 24th of January 1984. UFO shot down 5 MiGs. Six Soviet MiG fighter jets tried in the August of last year to shoot down a UFO. Five crashed. Only Lieutenant Michael Anisimov reached the ground with his heavy damage machine. The Russian UFO expert Dr. Eduard Naumov reported about it. The five MiGs were destroyed by their own missiles. They exploded second fractions after launching, obviously ignited by a radiation weapon of the UFO. Since there is no peace treaty between the Third Reich and the Allies and Soviets, the Third Reich is officially still at war with the former Soviet Union and former Allied powers. In 1945, they only signed a temporary ceasefire. Since the end of the Second World War, the USA and Russia have been allies in the secret space program against the Imperial Germans. We will now look at a video about a highly efficient engine that consumes less than 2 liters of diesel or gasoline per 100 kilometers. We flew from Holland, through Belgium, Luxembourg, Frankreich, Deutschland, Österreich, Italien, Spanien and wieder Frankreich, insgesamt 4818 kilometer weit, with nur einer Tankfüllung. Das ergab einen Durchschnittsverbrauch von sage und schreibe 1,76 Litern. Weltrekord, wenn es so etwas offiziell gäbe. Wir haben einen Vortest gemacht und der Vortest zeigte schon, dass wir auf einen Durchschnittsverbrauch deutlich unter zweieinhalb Liter kommen werden. 
das war für uns so niedrig, dass wir gesagt haben, wenn nur wir von Audi diese Fahrt durchführen, wird es uns niemand glauben. Wir werden angezweifelt und haben deshalb den TÜV als Überwacher, als Bewacher und als Begutachter dieses Tests mitgenommen. Und der TÜV hat bestätigt, 1,76 Liter auf 100 Kilometer bei einer Durchschnittsgeschwindigkeit quer durch Europa von 60,2 Stundenkilometern. Und dieses Auto kommt auch wirklich auf den Markt? Da sind wir fest entschlossen, dieses Auto in den Markt zu bringen. Es wird am nächsten Februar in den Markt gebracht. Wir werden wahrscheinlich Ende Januar 1990 dieses Auto den Medien vorstellen. Und da können sich die Vertreter der Medien noch einmal selbst ein Bild davon machen, mit welch niedrigen Verbräuchen dieser moderne Turbodiesel direkt Einspritzer der zweiten Generation zu fahren ist. Turbodieselmotor mit Direkteinspritzung, Ladeluftkühlung, und vielleicht noch Katalysator und Rußfilter. Since the time of Nikola Tesla, revolutionary technologies such as zero-point generators and the holographical medicinal beds, or the Rife machine, have been suppressed by the shadow elites. Since the 60s, we have the water engine that has been suppressed by the satanic elites. We will now look at a video of several UFO sightings in Mexico. There are at least seven factions on Earth that have space traveling capacities. So not all UFO sightings are from the Imperial Germans. We will now watch the video. What the fuck is that? What are those? Are aliens? What? Yeah, they can go up high. Lastly, we will look at another video of probably how no one will fight Jarrows. The place and time of the recording is unknown. I hope you found this video informative. Do not forget to rate and subscribe and hit the bell button. And if you can make a small donation, the bank details are in the description. Greetings from space. And ciao!